So we live in an absolutely amazing time and the Astro City Mini from Sega is just one of those great examples. Comes with built-in 37 titles. I'm a little late to the party because this thing has been out for quite a long time now and they're even like announcing different kinds of mini arcades, not even from this brand but also from other ones. I did get this from a second-hand, uh, let's say, seller and because I just wanted to check it out for not a lot of money. I'm just going to be cheapskating over here. And also didn't get myself this huge arcade stake because this thing was even more expensive than the system itself and for me that makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> I really like what they're doing over there with the control pads and just giving you the option to play actually this thing not like a mini arcade that is most of the time not really comfortable but just like an actual game system because we can plug it in an HDMI connection and just have a lot of fun with friends. Like my good friend Tim that lives in Japan is absolutely familiar with these let's say cabinets. I think he even had like one of them in his like say, gaming room. How cool is that? But this thing comes with like say a handful of games. It's kind of cool but also games that you personally need to really like have a personal connection with. I grew up with the Sega Genesis or Sega Mega Drive known here and some titles I did play them very often. So to begin with like I've played like Golden Axe, Alternate Beast, Bonanza Bros, like a lot of cool games that I like have like so many fond memories with. But these are like the very cool because they are like the original arcade classics. Well, let's get the show on the road and let's see what we're going to get in the inside. Go Sega 60th Anniversary. Man, I wish Sega still has like game systems. Because I do love my, let's say, Sega J Genesis. I have like the full tower of power. In here, we're not going to get a lot. It's like quite interesting. Let's see what we're going to find in here. Here we do have like all kinds of different manuals. We don't have enough plastic in the world. Like every freaking manual has like their own plastic bag. <laughs> Uh, nothing much. I do like the way the quality is like they do use a very thick cardboard and basically the sticker or everything on it is more like this matte finish. So yeah, the other thing is if you like a collector of boxes you always need to be very careful. Would not be surprised that they have like a freaking cool box protector for that. So the product itself I must say that I really love the Astro City. If I would have like the place for it I would have like one original machine because I really love the design of it. So. I can tell you already, this is way better than the Neo Geo Mini. I am a big fan of Neo Geo and also the Mini was a kind of fun product. But this is something different, so let's talk about it, why this is so different. To begin with, let's talk about the controls, because that is one of the things that I'm more like, wow, this is really cool. You know, that is kind of cool, that this is actually like a micro switch joystick. We do get these very cute tiny buttons and also these having like micro switches beneath them. And then of course we're having two micro switch like more like this clickies buttons basically for basically yeah let's see uh, yeah something like that. At the side we do have like some very nice decals and yeah it just gives like this thing a full complete vibe when it comes to the Astro City. At the back we do have like the two controller port play one, player two. Then we're having, that's kind of weird they call it the foam but they mean, I think they mean head foam. The power in is unfortunate and micro USB and HDMI out and of course the on off switch. Yeah but I find a little bit of a fail especially when you're looking at the device like this sort of price range. The Chinese making all kinds of portable versions. And what I do like about those portable versions, that we actually having like a built-in battery. And that's something also the Neo Me Geo Mini had. Does it have like, oh, so annoying. And underneath this thing also comes with a serial number of course. And that's also the model number called ACS1001. Okay, 5 volt, 2 amp. That is basically the power supply that we're going to need. Because there was no power supply. Also that one was not included in my box. <coughs> And quick product specifications. So basically the LCD size, I just want to talk with you about this. It's a 3.9 inches, so that's not huge. The resolution is 480 by 800. The LCD color depth, that's kind of interesting that it even like saying that, wow, that even like showing that too. HDMI compatibility is 720p and 480p. But let's turn on the machine itself. We do have a very glossy display. So it's going to be like a challenge recording it. We do get like this cool Sega logo when booting it up. Another very cool detail is the marquee itself. It also implements a very cool light up marquee or like light up marquee. It's more like this LED that they basically put in here. 
The unfortunate thing is maybe it's me like nitpicking a little bit about it, but you can see like the LEDs are clearly here and there. It's a little bit dark in the middle. And at the top we're going to get ourselves two speakers and they sound absolutely amazing. But let's take a close look at the menu itself. And I must say in combination with the micro switch joystick, this, this feels absolutely amazing. I really love the layout of the menu itself and yeah, the way everything looks is very cool. Here we can even like switch between, not the Nintendo switch, but the tiny screenshots over here. You know, there were like these tiny cool details here where like you're seeing some more information about when the game was made. Here appears to be system 24, it even shows like what kind of PCB it was. Like how freaking cool is that? Like I love those like tiny details. Pressing the left yellow button, I would almost say select here. We can change out the brightness, volume. We have even a difference in screen size and everything like that. It's kind of cool having even an analog display and then even having the default. And of course, if you're changing out the space ratio, you can even catch yourself like a different wallpaper setting. Okay, another cool feature is when you're trying to select the game. Here we're going to get ourselves like a quick overview of the layout, how the game should be played. And then we're gonna also load up and save data here. So, you know everything, like they basically like implemented everything correctly, how it's supposed to be in my opinion. There we go. The select or coin in, pressing start. Here we can boot up the game itself and just play. And I must say that I really enjoy playing on this thing, like especially because the joystick is so responsive. It does have like a very stiff, let's say, joystick. You do feel like there is a lot of resistance in it, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't spoil the fun. And pressing both yellow buttons, are we bring you into the special menu. If you want to get out of the game, make a save, load, reset, back to main menu. And here we go, go back, and we can choose a different game. So it works all very smoothly and it works very positive. So let's get into the Shinobi game. Let's try a new game. Another thing is like instantly boot. No weird thing going on over here. But let's get into the controllers now, because I really wanted to see how that actually plays. And I must say that I do like the general, let's say, controls of the Mini Astro City. I was really flabbergasted by it. It's not like super comfortable in the end, like I mentioned before, you're not going to play that for hours and hours to come. But let's get one of the controllers out of the box and let's see how that will play. Of course, you will lose like this cool joystick. How cool would it be if like the tiny joystick on here? So the overall quality, I do like it, what I'm seeing. I really love the design of this. Like it feels very comfortable in my hands. Another thing is very interesting. They made a decision to go for the floating D-pad. I love to call it. And it gives it like a completely different way to play. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to do is plug this bad boy in. In controller port number one. Let's see which one it is. On the left one over here. All right, it also comes with a very long cable. And I can tell you already on the screen I'm seeing here that it works plug and play without any problem. So I don't need to do a reset whatsoever. All right. I must say I personally never played this game before because that is one of those games. I think they didn't release on the Mega Drive or I just completely skipped it. But in the end, like this is an absolutely one of those cool games. Wow, the graphic part on this like game is absolutely epic. Let's lower the volume a little bit. 
I need to lose my... All right, there we go. Much better. Oh, I'm always pressing the freaking wrong button. Wow, this game looks so graphical. Amazing. Absolutely. Like, if I played it as a child back in the day, that would be so cool. And by the way, I'm always getting my ass kicked by those guys. I really, I really love the part that he basically, like, sticks his sand in the sword to grab the guy, you know? That's kind of cool. Yeah, the animation in this is absolutely great. If you're naughty, you're going to get whipped. That go shows it. <laughs> yeah, but the overall experience, I really love the D-pad itself. It looks really nice. There we go, magic baby. Oh yeah. Very cool. And of course, we can basically go back into the menu like that. I'm really used to pressing the A button, but okay, it seems to be working differently. But yeah, there are a couple of games on here that I really find appealing to, appealing to play. Let's try the game Beefcake Turns Into Wolfie. I really also like that they instantly load the game. No loading stuff, like weird stuff going on. Yeah, that's how I feel in the morning, absolutely. Without lying, of course. You know how this game plays? Punch him in the face, kick him in the balls. That's the way how you play this. Come on. Punch him in the face, kick him in the balls. That's the way you play. Alt and the beast. No Wolfie. Naughty Wolfie. Beefcake. Oh yeah. Mm. Then you can just come kick him in the balls. Mm. 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 Yeah. Okay, so where I love the design of the Astro City. The thing is with the Astro City, it only comes with 37 games built in. And there will be maybe some games that really appeal to you. It will be like not enough in my opinion. And you will get sick of this thing. Or you just want to have it. Just to have it. I really love the joystick quality and the buttons. That really I think is one of my favorite ones at the moment. It's even way better than the Neo Geo. Let me know in the comments what you think of this. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. And it would be great if you subscribe. Hit the little bell. Because I'm a minute and we will see you in the next video. Let's go.